So some of you folks may remember a few weeks back I put a video up where I floated some golf balls in salt water trying to test them out and find balls that were off balance. A lot of you left me comments asking me to test out your particular brand of golf balls and today I'm going to do exactly that. As always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and let's jump right into it. So let's go ahead and start with the Kirkland Signature V2 Golf Ball. A lot of y'all seem to really like it. I got a lot of comments on this thing. Uh, two dozen for 25 bucks, so it's pretty much a dollar a ball. Can't beat that with a stick. And throughout all of my testing, I found seven bad golf balls out of two dozen. So that's right at the same number we were getting with the Pro V1s and the TP5s in my first video that is linked up there if you haven't seen it. Now I will say twice as many golf balls meant that I had to do twice as much testing and that was quite annoying, but y'all don't want to watch me just spend golf balls in a cup forever, so let's go ahead and slide over to the next ball, which is going to be the Callaway Chrome Soft. I'm going to go ahead and start by saying I've got really high hopes for this. This is the ball that I started playing after the Pro V1 and the TP5 issues that I found in my last video, so I'm really hoping that this is going to work out. Now I did get the Chrome Soft Triple Track because it is the best ball that Callaway makes. And if their best ball fails the test, if the best ball is trash, then obviously the cheap ball's probably not going to be made any better. So for those that didn't see the first video, what I'm essentially doing is just floating the golf ball. I put a dot on the spot that floats to the top, and then I spin it over and over and over, and I'm just trying to see where the dot comes up. And as you can see on this ball, it keeps coming up either to the top or very, very close to it. And what that indicates to me is that there's a heavy side and a light side of the golf ball and that it's off balance enough to consistently flip over to one side. I'm sure all of these golf balls are within manufacturer's tolerance, but that doesn't mean all golf balls are equal. And this one is definitely not up to the standard of the other golf balls in the box. Now that said, I found five golf balls out of a dozen that pretty much perform like this. So that's actually worse than the Pro V1 TP5. So while I was testing these in the salt water, it occurred to me to grab the Checkgo golf ball spinner because the triple track technology that's in the ball is supposed to really improve putting and accuracy and all these other good things. So as you can see here, the balance point from the Checo golf ball spinner actually crisscrosses the triple track lines, which is to be expected because they're probably just randomly printed on there. But how scary is that, that using triple track might actually be hurting your putting more than it's helping. All right, now that's over with, let's go ahead and talk about the next golf ball. That's going to be the Strixon Z-Star. This is another premium golf ball. It's got the same price range as your TP5s, your Pro V1s, those kind of things. So I'm expecting good results out of this golf ball. So I got this little hyperlapse going on because I want you to see how long I'm spending just this one golf ball and then know that I'm applying the same amount of effort to every golf ball, trying to make sure that I keep these results as straight as possible and be as fair as possible when I tell you that Strixon is the worst golf ball I tried. Seven golf balls are trash. I'm not putting them in my bag. I don't feel comfortable playing them. I will never in my life buy another Strixon ball. Sorry. As a matter of fact, take a look at how bad this golf ball is. Little dot on the top, give it a little spin, and immediately the little dot turns up. We're gonna get a little fake, a little false positive here that looks like a good spin. And then on this one, you can actually see the golf ball spin backwards to put the dot on top. That's how bad it is. Never play Srixen. Sorry. Have to be brutally honest about it. Seven of them. Seven bad golf balls. But with that, let's move on to Bridgestone. Please, something work here, because man, these results today have been junk, and I'm really hoping to find one good golf ball that I can recommend people to play with. It's a nice, balanced, solid ball. Unfortunately, that's not Bridgestone either. Because, well, Bridgestone had five bad golf balls, which is the same number as Callaway, so it's, you know, whatever. But the bad golf balls are the worst golf balls that I actually tested. They are so bad, you can watch this ball spin backwards to put the dot on top almost every spin. It is so badly out of balance, it's not even funny. This Bridgestone sucks. The Srixen suck. Uh, Callaway's okay. For the money, Kirkland. 
play Kirkland for a dollar. They have the same fail rate as Pro V1s, one fifth the cost. You cannot beat it with a stick. So as I wrap this video up, I also want you to know that I cut all these golf balls open so that I can make the really clever thumbnail. And something I was shocked to find is that the Srixen is just a little two-piece golf ball. There's no, there's no inner core, there's no third layer. I mean, even, even the Kirkland has a third layer, guys. This golf ball right here, and I don't know if you can see the little, let me try to focus it right. Come on, come on, ah, there we go maybe the little yellow and white flecks that are in this I mean this is something that you only see in like really really cheap 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 top flight golf balls uh, tailor-made RBZ golf balls uh, I was absolutely shocked to see a two-piece Srixen golf ball cost $50 a dozen that is absurd you should be ashamed especially considering how poorly they performed. But that's just my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what golf ball I should try next.